How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Today, we are finally talking about solo leveling. Tons of people have been asking me to talk about solo leveling for, like, a long time, and for, like, absolutely no reason, I just haven't. Which is weird, because it is unbelievably popular. It's an outrageously popular webtoon that has been turned into an outrageously popular anime that is currently airing right now, and I just haven't made any content on it. I have watched it, though. I'm not caught up with the webtoon, but I am caught up with the anime. And I am very soon to be caught up with all things regarding the upcoming video game. That's because the people behind the upcoming video game adaptation of Solo Leveling, Solo Leveling Arise, have reached out to me and asked me to watch and react to some promotional material regarding the upcoming video game. So this is a sponsored video. Full transparency. But I am genuinely excited to see what this video game looks like, because solo leveling is a property that is just dying to be turned into one. I do really like the anime, and a lot of you may know that I don't typically like anime set in video game worlds. And I know solo leveling technically isn't based in a video game world, but like, yes it is. It's technically set in a fantasy world, but surrounded by video game elements. Which is why I genuinely believe it would make a really good video game. But the reason I like the solo leveling anime is one, the animation is like obviously stunning. Like that's, that's no hot take coming from me. That's like the first thing that gets brought up in any solo leveling conversation is how good the webtoon and anime look. But two, I love the exploration of Sung Woo's character slowly becoming like a worse and worse person, or not even a worse person, but like slowly growing numb to how overpowered he's becoming. They're, they play with the idea of him being overpowered in a really interesting way. A lot of anime protagonists in anime like this are overpowered, but don't give any commentary on it, and I like that it seems to be Solo Leveling's, like, entire gimmick. But anyway, that's the anime, and we're not entirely here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the upcoming video game for PC and mobile, Solo Leveling Arise, so, uh, let's start doing that. Alright, first they're having me check out the cinematic trailer, so let's see what this is all about. Why does this go unbelievably hard, right? Like, why, why does this go real hard, real fast? I like the tone, because the tone is very edgy. The tone is very, like, AMV, like, mid-2000s AMV. Arise. Ha. Oh. There is that voice. That's the other thing I forgot to mention about uh, Solo Leveling the Anime. The voice actor? So good, both in English and in Japanese. I really, really love the English voice actor, though, for the main character. He's got that, like, sadistic growl about him. Like, it really doesn't matter what he's saying. I'm, I'm always there for it. Solo leveling. Arise. Pre-registration now live. See what I mean? This dude's not saying anything cool, and he's making it sound like the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. You better join us while we have money in the bank, yo, we ain't playing. You should have listened when we said we said. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't got no fear. So, Iko, Saijak that the Kakoso, Saikyo and Yako Maratata. Are y'all welcome to the jungle? Yeah, this also goes crazy hard. I love the rap. I love the rap AMV style edits of these trailers. The trailer department is going really hard. We also get to see what's either some gameplay footage or at least a look at the in-engine graphics. The graphics are great. Like, the, they look pretty sick. Oh yeah, that's just, that's just straight up gameplay. That's straight up gameplay, and it does confirm to look sick. I love the colors, man. That's the best part of the anime and the webcomic that like set it apart from other anime and webcomics. Except the colors are so vibrant and so saturated. 
and it looks really, really good in motion here. It looks great. Like, graphically, it looks great. Detail-wise, it looks very good. I'm interested. Like I said, this is a mobile game, which also kind of bumps it up a few extra points, just in terms of how impressive it looks for being able to run on mobile. That's sick. I do love... It's like kind of a trope. I don't know... I don't want to call it shadow boxing because it feels like it wants me to call it shadow boxing. But that archetype, that fighting style of like a boxer who like leaves behind shadow after images, always very cool to me. I also love a dude who's just throwing hands while everybody else is using weapons. Like, that's always gonna be sick. It is good that this guy knows how to fight with his hands, though, uh, because otherwise he just looks like, like, daddy's credit card, the man. You can't look this spoiled and pampered and not know how to throw a punch, is all I'm saying. Nice, so this guy's more of like a mage. I am more into the boxing dude, just preference-wise in every regard. In looks, yeah, definitely in looks. This guy looks like a lizard's tail came to life and like decided to become a ketchup salesman. Fire Tornado's sweet though. Like undeniably, the Fire Tornado's sick. I do like that he's sort of a mid-ranged mage. I don't love long-range characters in games typically, but I do like magic. So it's a big conundrum I'm constantly having to grapple with. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So this guy's also a fire mage, but he's more of like, like a comet-esque Mage, we hardly got to see any of what this guy does, but it is interesting seeing the differences in their two styles of fire magic. The first guy feels very much like a close to mid-range fire mage, whereas this guy is like summoning stuff from the sky. So I wonder if he's going to be a little more long range than the first dude. I see. Okay, so this guy's- I was very confused with, like, the wordage going on, because it says a fighter on par with A-ranks. So I was like, okay, why wouldn't they just call him an A-rank fighter? But he's not. He's a really good healer. He's a healer who's really, really good at combat and healing. This guy's sick, so he's a paladin. This dude, so far, has the best design, the coolest weapon, and the most exciting concept to me. I love Paladins, just in every every game I've ever played, and every walk of life I've ever experienced, I've loved Paladins. And this guy, the idea that he is, like, so good at being a healer-type hunter, that he's on par with fighter hunters, is a really cool concept to me. This environment's gorgeous. Damn. Look, I'm not typically into wind magic. This certainly hasn't convinced me to be into wind magic, but I will say her trailer 
had like the best looking levels and character designs out of any of the trailers we've watched so far. Her character model looks so good and so does this environment, doesn't it? Don't both of these things look better than the other than any of the other previous character models or environments? They've all looked good. Something about her design, like her colors are really working with this outfit. I also really like these bears. Where are these bears? These bears look phenomenal. Love the design of these bears and this ice also looks great. Again, all running apparently accordingly on a on a phone, which is crazy. This is getting me excited, obviously for the game, but also very much for the anime. Specifically the paladin guy. Roping back to the paladin guy. I want to see what his deal is. I'm like upset I don't know more about all these characters and like how they fit into the actual story. I didn't know there were this many characters. I didn't know solo leveling was like an ensemble cast kind of deal. Wow, speaking of daddy's credit card over here. The, actually, this is just daddy. This is the daddy with the credit card. It looks really cool. Solo leveling has some like shockingly cool character designs, especially considering like, like a lot of the cool character designs I'm seeing in these trailers haven't shown up in the anime yet. So that's been like blowing me away a little. Like this red knight looks really sick, but he also looks sick partially due to the graphics of the game. The game has this really cool mix of like cell shading and shine. And also there's a lot of like shadowy effects that are all kind of like mixing into, where is it? They've done a great job at emulating the look of the, of the webtoon cover. All these shadowy effects, the vibrant colors, the great contrast, but in a way that isn't like, I know I said I didn't read the webtoon. I like, I wasn't lying. I just own this. I haven't read it, <laughs> but they've emulated the look of the webcomic in a way that still feels distinct from it. And not just because it's a video game. So obviously it can't look like exactly like the webcomic, but just like, it's just shiny. Like, TLDR, I like that it's shiny. <gasps> that was crazy. That was really sick. That felt like the beginning of, like, a Sung Woo music video that he wrote and directed. That was so cold. That was so dope. That was such a dope transfer of a frost. A transfer of coldness. Because the Red Knight catches his ankle and then throws him away and then he falls into the throne like there was a good a good transfer of energy of hype The cutscenes all look sick, but like, obviously, obviously they look sick. But more importantly, the gameplay is so fast. It's so fast, but not, it doesn't look like automated. Like there's clearly a lot of dodging involved, which I appreciate. A lot of mobile games can feel like a little too automated to me. And so it looks like this is gonna be kind of intense. Oh, whoa! You are now simply... Egress. Oh, that's crazy! Oh, okay, yeah, so he can just, like, straight up control people. That's super cool! That- does that happen? In the- I- I guess that must. That's sick, so then can you play as these bosses after you control them? Like, what is this, like, shadow demon army that you can amass? Dead. 
remember the last time a battle excited me! Oh, sick. This is like one of the actual antagonists. That's another thing I'm kind of looking forward to with reacting to these trailers is like seeing what the antagonists of the show are going to look like because I just haven't encountered any of them yet. Eagles. Yo, that's crazy! That's so sick. I love that he summoned the dude that he just corrupted to finish this guy off. That was hype. I saw this. <laughs> Song Jin Woo is such a low key, badass protagonist. Like, out of nowhere, completely out of nowhere. Interesting. It's no you! Arise. You think you can stop me with just one pathetic soldier? I didn't realize to the extent at which he becomes so overpowered. Like, this is so sick. What a wild power play to use a boss you corrupted to kill another boss and then corrupt that boss to kill the boss you're currently working on. That's just, that's just good boss management. So, Sung Jin Woo's just a good corporate leader. Nice, and then we get some more gameplay. This, like, what, Baruka? Baruka's definitely the coolest character design I've seen out of this property yet. This guy looks super cool. I am wondering to what extent... Oh, it looks like you could summon the characters we looked at before. Like, his help. But I don't think... You don't swap between them. At least not while you're Sung Jin Woo. Interesting. But I am wondering to what extent this guy is an antagonist. Because I feel like it'd be a waste to have such a cool character design just be like a throwaway random goon. I refuse to let myself die here. I refuse to let myself die here. This whole collection of trailers is just such a, like, glazing of Sung Jin Woo. This whole series is just a glazing of Sung Jin Woo. Like, what- I, I feel like I'm watching his own, like, his own, uh, like, thirst trap mixtape right now. I feel like I'm watching his own thirst edit that he personally sent me under the guise of being the developers of Solo Leveling Our Eyes. Yeah, the fact that movement is so fluid and so fast is definitely like the main draw for me in terms of these trailers. Like, I just love how fast it is. Like how fast it is, and as far as I can tell, oh no, there's a cooldown. I was gonna say, there's no stamina bar. I prefer a cooldown than a stamina bar though, honestly. I'm so sick of stamina bars lately. You better not make me mad. The main characters. Who's gonna tell him? That's tough, buddy. That's tough, that's embarrassing to be like the main characters here and just have everybody know that it is not you. Wow, that was sick. That was such a better showcasing of this dude's abilities. Oh, dope. This is like, like a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh man, I wonder if you'll get to play out the puzzle in like the first chapter of the webcomic. Like this part, the part they just showed, I wonder how much of that you'll get to play out. Because that was also the biggest draw of solo leveling for I think a lot of people was that first puzzle segment. The puzzle was so fun because it was like tough enough that it wasn't easy to figure out, but there was enough information that you could. It's cool to see that recreated here. It's cool to see something I've seen before recreated side by side. What else do they have? Oh, the spider. I've seen this too. Yeah, like, that's it. This is such dope presentation for this trailer. Like, to show the gameplay in panels side by side with the webcomic panels. Oh. Wait, this moment's sick, actually. This moment's really cool. Yeah, when he spears it at the thing. This is dope. I'm really into this. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know he got different weapons. Or does he? Does he get different weapons in the webtoon? It's like a ton of different weapons you can unlock, it looks like. 
Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, that's super crazy. What? He just gets a whole grimoire of magic? That's crazy. That's kind of wild. This is nuts. This, like, makes me wish the character was like a water mage in the anime. Like, this looks like the most, this is the most fun looking combat that has been in any of this promotional material. This is the most fun and creative looking combat we've seen yet. Just cool. I like seeing him, like, I like seeing him create these bubbles and then they do different things. Like, I wonder if you can, like, you summon the bubbles first and then decide what they do. And you can also summon Hydras. It's the coolest build. It's without a doubt the best weapon that he has. Oh, and then he got guns. Of course, he got dual pistols. An absolute classic. How couldn't you? Oh, whoa, he gets a samurai sword. Oh, interesting. I just realized he's swapping between weapons because he just very briefly, he had his daggers out and then he swapped to the samurai sword. That's so sick. And these are his daggers. These are his classic. These are maybe not the daggers I know. I guess it makes sense. I don't know why I'm shocked he has all these different weapons. He, it's like he's living a video game. Why wouldn't he get different weapons? I just thought he stuck with a dagger the whole time. The water thing's the coolest one though, right? And that is all of the solo leveling Arise material that I've been sent to watch and react to. And it looks fun. Like, it genuinely looks very fun. I like how fast paced the movement is. The graphics look uh, like really good. They look like as good as I would possibly want a solo leveling video game adaptation to look. I love all the detail and the character designs. I think the colors pop really, really well. The multi-weapon swapping aspect is definitely the most exciting part outside of the movement, outside of how fast the movement is and how like ruthless the bosses look. The fact that you can potentially swap between weapons on the fly is very cool. The water grimoire is so sick. I can't believe that's not his default situation. That's annoying. That's like obviously not a fault of the game or really anybody. That's just a fault of the water grimoire being the coolest thing he has. But yeah, it looks super fun. You get to play it on PC and your mobile device. And if you pre-register for it now, you'll get a legendary artifact set and an exclusive bonus costume for Sung Jin Woo, which makes him look very snazzy in his black suit. There's also PC crossplay, which means your data is shared between your phone and your PC, so you don't have to choose between the two. Make sure you check out the link in my description below to pre-register for this game today. Thank you so much for solo leveling Arise for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys next time. Oh!